In this problem, we're talking about a civil engineer who wants to determine the distance from points A and B to a third point C that is for some reason inaccessible, in this case because it's on the other side of a river, in the situation that's shown in this diagram. Although point C is inaccessible, from direct measurement, the engineer knows that side AB, the distance from A to B, is 25 meters, and the two angles, angle A and angle B, are accessible. The engineer is on this side of the river, on the right side of the river, and by direct measurement, he finds that angle A is 50 degrees and angle B is 110 degrees. The question here is, although they are inaccessible, what is the length of side AC and what is the length of side BC? This is a problem in which the law of signs can be used to answer this question. I'll solve this problem on a simplified diagram. Again, to recap, we know that side AB has a measure of 25 meters, angle A is 50 degrees, and angle B is 110 degrees. We're being asked here to find the measure of side AC, side AC, which in my diagram, I'll call that side B because it's across from angle B, and side BC, which I'll call side A because it's across from angle A. To solve this problem, I'm going to be using the law of sines, which actually, it's a way that three ratios are equal. The sine of angle A over side A is equal to the sine of angle B over side B, which is equal to the sine of angle C over side C. To use the law of sines, you need to know at least one angle and the side across from it. Of these three ratios, you need to know the angle and the side for at least one of them. And although we weren't directly given that in this problem, it's easy to find the measure of angle C because the angles in a triangle add up to 180, and 180 minus 110 minus 50 is equal to 20 degrees. So in this problem, I do know angle C and side C, and that's what I'll use as a starting point to answer the two questions. I'll first find side BC, which is side A in my diagram. And the way that I'll do that is I'll use the law of sines. The law of sines says the sine of an angle over the length of the side across from it and in this case, I'm using the sine of angle C over side C is equal to the sine of any other angle in the triangle, either of the other two angles in the triangle, over the length of the side that's across from that angle. Well, if I'm trying to find this side A, that, that means that the sine of 20 over 25, sine C over C, is equal to the sine of 50 degrees over the length of side A. The way that I'm applying this law of sines in this situation is I'm taking the sine of 20 degrees over the side across from it, 25, and I'm setting that equal to the sine of angle A, 50, over the side across from it. And the side across from it is my unknown. That's what I'm trying to find here. And this is a proportion, which can be solved with cross multiplication. I'll take the sine of 20 times A, write that as A times the sine of 20, and set that equal to 25 times the sine of 50. I'm trying to find side A here, so I'll solve for A by dividing both sides of this equation by the sine of 20. Side A is equal to 25 times the sine of 50 over the sine of 20. So this uh, simple fraction will give me the length of side A, and in certain situations you want to be more precise, but 25 times the sine of 50 divided by the sine of 20 to three decimal places is 55.994 meters. 55.994 meters. In answering this question, find the length of side AC and the length of side BC. Side A in my diagram is, is side BC, 
and that is 55.994 meters. To find side AC, to find side AC, which in my diagram is labeled as side B, I'll again use the law of sines. I'll relate the sine of angle C, which is 20, over the length of side C, which is 25, equal to, now this time I'm finding side B. So I'll take the sine of angle B, which is 110 degrees, over the length of side B, which is my unknown, which is what I'm trying to find. Again, cross multiplication is the way that this proportion can be solved. B times the sine of 20 is equal to 25 times the sine of 110 in this case. I'll divide both sides of this equation by the sine of 20. B equals 25 sine 110 over the sine of 20 degrees. And that means, again, to three decimal places, that side B has a length of 68.687 meters. Side B, a.k.a. side AC, has a length of 68.687 meters. Using the law of signs, we were able to find the measures or the length of side A and side B although in the situation of the problem, they would be inaccessible to the civil engineer.